Hi, this video explains about the decision tree machine learning algorithm in machine learning. So here the decision tree is one of the supervised learning method uh, which is following the tree structure. The tree structure makes the decision that based upon the classification or regression problem by learning the patterns from the attributes which is a graphical representation for getting all the possible solutions or decisions based on given criteria at end of the learning process the decisions or test is performed based upon the features patterns which is learned from the given data set the decision tree can be thought of as a set of sentences which is in disjunctive normal form written in proportional logic. And also the decision tree can handle both categorical and numerical data set. Some characteristics of problems in decision tree learning are which is always have the attribute and value pair that means the table which may have set of attributes so here suppose my attribute is outlook the outlook may have different values like sunny for uh, one record and uh, overcast for another record and rainy for another record so like this different values different values is available for single attribute so this is called attribute value pair so attribute is outlook value is sunny so pair of attribute and value then if outlook is attribute and here the value is overcast so like this it will appear attribute value pair and the output function will be discrete like target value so target label may be uh, mostly the discrete value like yes or no or yes like this okay so this will have the discrete value otherwise sometimes it may have zeros and ones instead of uh, yes we may have zero instead of one we may have uh, instead of no we may have one like this so then distinctive descriptions of target function this we will see in the next slide and also it will works well with missing values or er error values in the training data it will handle easily the missing missing values in the samples here the basic terminologies we should know in decision tree the tree structure is given here this is the uh, root node then these are all internal nodes internal nodes then the bottom nodes are called leaf nodes bottom nodes are called leaf nodes so here the root node is initiating the dysentery construction which is representing the entire data set d the data set D is divided into two or more homogeneous subsets. The internal nodes called decision nodes, which is representing the features of a given data set, that features are useful to make a decision. The features are useful to make a decision. And the branches are representing the decision rules the criteria to make the specific decision and each leaf node is denoting the outcomes yes or no zero or one uh, like that and splitting process is used to divide the decision node or root node into sub trees sub nodes according to the given criteria and the branch and subtree is formed by splitting the tree from splitting process. 
and one of the important process is pruning which is used to remove unwanted branches from the tree unwanted branches from the tree so these branches are used to uh, uh, make the decisions used to make the decisions that path so it is used to remove the unwanted path in the decision tree the data set is given here is having the 14 samples the attributes are outlook temperature humidity and wind the uh, given target function is play tennis that means if the day is first record we will consider the first record if the day is sunny and hot temperature and high humidity uh, but weak wind in this situation can we play the tennis or not so if the uh, weather is having these four criteria four conditions then in that day uh, the person cannot play the tennis that is the meaning and another one example the d13 sample if the outlook is overcast temperature is hot and humidity is uh, normal and the wind is weak if this condition is in the weather then the person can play the tennis on this particular uh, weather so this is the given problem statement so from here we have to uh, uh, train the model by using this features values finally we will pass any uh, different weather attribute values and we have to uh, check the outcome of this features so this is the problem statement in given weather report so here the decision tree is represented in the form of disjunction of conjunction of constraints here the constraint is you look at here conjunction is you take this tree the outlook is the attribute this attribute ha is having three different values sunny overcast and rain you look at this previous exam uh, data set here the outlook is having sunny is one value overcast is another different value and rain is another different value like that temperature is having two different values uh, three different values hot and mild and cool three different values like that humidity is having two different values one is high another type is normal wind is also having uh, two different values one is weak another one is strong so each uh, each attribute is appear with attribute value pair here this decision tree always representing the conjunction of the constraints constraints here you see the outlook is sunny in this path outlook is sunny and and humidity is high humidity is high so in this location in this condition we cannot play the tennis we cannot play the tennis and another path if outlook is sunny outlook is sunny and and here we should use and then the humidity is normal we can play the tennis so that's what given here you see outlook equal to sunny and conjunction conjunction humidity equal to normal humidity equal to normal so we can play the tennis we can play the tennis so this path this path right then and another one another one here the r r disjunction this is called disjunction then outlook equal to overcast here also we can play the tennis you look at this path outlook equal to overcast here also we can play the tennis or disjunction outlook equal to rainy and this path outlook equal to rainy and wind equal to weak wind equal to weak so and wind equal to weak so here also we can play the tennis so here 
the dysentery represents the play tennis is yes play tennis is yes so for this for this outcome the rule is represented conjunction okay conjunctions are there conjunctions are there disjunction of conjunctions of constraints disjunction of conjunction of constraints so the dysentery always follow the disjunction uh, disjunction of conjunctions of given constraints each path from the root to leaf corresponding to a conjunction of attributes is okay conjunction of attributes the tree itself is a disjunction of this conjunctions disjunction of this conjunctions and also each node represents a feature and each leaf represent the path or decision then each leaf node is the outcome of the given problem so that is the class here how to build the decision tree the so first we have to check all the attributes then from the set of attributes we have to select one of the attribute that will contribute more to our problem statement more information more informative that attribute which is going to select as a best attribute which is going to contribute more to our problem statements solution then break up that training set into subsets based upon the rules which is given in the branch the remaining attributes are tested to check which one is best under the given criteria from the root node this process has to be continued for all other branches until all examples of your subsets samples are one class that means look at here here this all the samples all the samples in this path belong to the class no here all the samples belongs to class yes here also all the uh, uh, samples belongs to yes this path all the samples belongs to yes this path all the samples belongs to no so all the samples are classified into one of the class that's what this one all the samples of the subset ex subset of samples should be classified into one of the class and we should uh, we should uh, verify there is no samples left without classification and there are no more attributes left to check for the selection of decision tree so this is the algorithm structure to uh, take the decision by using decision tree when we can consider the decision trees so whenever we are having the samples training samples are represented by attribute value pair so that is one of the criteria if we have attribute value pair then we can go with decision tree which may have fixed set of attributes the attribute take a small number of disjoint possible values disjoint possible values and also the target label the target label should have the discrete output values it should have the discrete output values then only decision tree can appropriately select the boolean classification like yes or no uh, zero or one true or false like that the distinctive descriptions may be required so we need the distinctive descriptions because the decision tree is following the uh, uh, disjunction of conjunctions disjunction of conjunctions okay so that's why we needed disjunctive descriptions the training data may have errors if any errors are there it can be handled by the decision tree easily and also which is having which is handling the missing values in the samples the decision tree can be applied to the problems such as learning to classify that means classify for classification mostly we can use the decision tree classifier like uh, medical uh, medical patients disease classification equipment malfunctions and uh, 
in banking sector so we can use the decentries in this kind of applications thank you